Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about how I straighten my hair. So for those of you who don't know, I have super, super curly hair. I am biracial. It's about this length when it's curly. It scrunches up. I have a lot of shrinkage when I have my hair curly. But um, yeah, growing up, uh, my mom did my hair all the time, pretty much through elementary school to middle school I had my hair curly and I got relaxers in middle school and I think middle school and some of high school I had chemical relaxers put in my hair to loosen my curls because growing up I was not confident at all with my curly hair and to this day I still really really struggle with it but I'm getting better embracing my curls naturally like growing up through elementary school and middle school and a little bit of high school I had chemical relaxers put in my hair to loosen the curls so that it was easier for my mom to straighten my hair because she straightened my hair throughout all of high school pretty much she straightened my hair and um, finally once I got to college my mommy wasn't there to do my hair every week so I had to learn how to do it myself and I have tested a lot of different products to keep it straight. I've tried a lot of different techniques on how to pull it straight and blow dry it and using different brushes and combs and sprays and balms and whatever the heck goes in your hair to help it straighten and nothing has worked. But um, within the last probably three years, I've finally figured out a technique that works for me and yeah I just wanted to share it with you guys so any of you girls with curly hair out there can maybe try something different on how to help you straighten your hair a lot sleeker and faster I guess you would say so if you guys enjoy this video of me straightening my hair please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press that little bell next to the subscribe button so you guys get notified every time I post a video and we get you stay connected at all times if you follow my social media down below and yep I think that's all I have to say to you guys so let's jump right in alright so um we're gonna start this off with me well right now I just took my hair down so we're just gonna hold my crazy hair up real quick but um yeah I don't really do much to straighten my hair I have a hair dryer with a little straightening attachment to the end because it keeps the flow of the air kind of organized and just in like a nice straight flow um I have and this is just any I just grab any type of blow dryer this is my mom's this is the Brazilian tech keratin I don't know what kind of hair dryer mine is but I don't feel like using it but any hair dryer will do and then for my straightener I am partic par particularly picky about my straighteners because I do have very coarse not coarse but I have very textured hair very curly textured hair so I need something very strong so this is the nano titanium by baby baby bliss baby bliss baby bliss whatever this is right here if I can get it in focus for you guys it looks like that it's really old you can see I think there's like makeup all over it and everything but um yeah I've had this guy for like three years now or something like that and I love it it gets up to 450 degrees it has titanium plates and it is pretty awesome and then for product I just can I just put this up real quick for product, sorry, this is just in my way while I'm talking. My arm's getting tired. Okay, and for product, I like to use the L'Oreal Paris Blow Dry it Quick Dry Primer Spray. So it looks like this. And it says it cuts dry time and it's a heat protectant. Prep and prime for all heat tools. So what I do is usually right when I start, I'll spritz my whole head just a little bit and then not too much because I think it can tend to make your hair a little greasy if you use too much of it and I don't really know how it would work on fine hair because I know for sure it would probably make your hair really greasy but for me and my textured hair it does a great job of keeping it sleek and shiny and drying it really really quickly and straight so I've been loving this I've used it for I don't know probably like a year or so 
maybe a little less than that. I don't know, but it works great. I don't really have a lot less. I need a new bottle. And then for brushes, I have a lot. Um, it just depends how I'm feeling. The last time I straight, when I was younger, they used to straight, like when I would get my hair straight at the salon, they would use these, obviously, to blow out my hair. And then when I started doing my hair myself, I mainly just used a comb like this. And I sometimes grab a brush like this, but I think today I'm going to stick to one of these. I'll probably alternate between them and then this for just controlling it in some spots. So you'll see me using all of those. And then to just, there's something black on those and sticky that's getting all over the place. Um, and then to just control my hair and hold it up, I like to blow dry my hair into sections, blow dry it and straighten it in small sections. I actually, I don't do that small sections, but I do decent sized sections just so I can fully control each little piece of hair. But, um, I just use these little clippies. Sorry, I have really colorful ones, so it's going to look a little crazy, but. that I do like to leave my hair to air dry so like I washed my hair this morning put it in a bun and kind of let it air dry and then I like to go in with a hair dryer just so I'm not like putting too much heat on it obviously I'm gonna put heat on it but I just don't want to put too much so you just saw I blow dried it out and don't judge me because I have no clue how to use those roller brushes I kind of just use them to pull the hair extra extra tight so it has a like a so it's just straighter as I'm blow drying it, you know? And also when you're blow drying your hair, be sure that you are blow drying it straight down and not outwards because you want to just make sure you keep all the hair going in the same direction so you get more of a smooth, silky texture. And let me tell you, I used to, my mom straightened my hair up until I got to college, so. <laughs> I have finally figured out the best techniques that work for me. Nothing I hate more in this world than straightening my hair. Nothing. It's the worst thing. I won't even lie, it's seriously the worst thing. It's like obnoxious, you know? It takes extra long and you get hot and it's just not a fun process. But. Um, you can see as I straighten it, I do use this comb, and I just wrap around the back, and I try to get as close to the roots as I can without burning myself, and I do not leave the strainer on my hair for a long time, is another thing. I'll pull it through real quick and go over it two, three times, and it ends up like this. Super silky and straight. blow dry it I don't have to blow dry it for as long like I said because I did let it partially air dry so just a little tip that'll help a lot and save a lot of heat from not a lot of heat obviously we're putting a strainer on after it but it'll save extra heat from going on your hair you know what I mean
Alright, now we're at our part. I like to do a middle part, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that. And I kinda just eyeball it and then go straight back with the comb. And I'm not one of those people that really cares if my part is totally straight or not. You know, just whatever. Who cares? And then we're just gonna take this hair back. Give it a little twist and there we go. One side completely done. You guys can see that. And that is it. That is literally all I do to straighten my hair. I just use that spray and a little rolling brush. And that's the way I've just been liking to do it lately. But yeah, there's nothing really to it. You just got to be patient and once you kind of get your technique down and how you like to straighten your hair like down pat it's really really simple like I don't mind it as much it takes me probably 25 minutes if that to straighten my hair now that I'm older and I have a routine down and ready to go so the rest of this video I will probably put in fast forward just so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do my entire head for 25 minutes. So, let's continue. to add a little bit of this um, X matrix exquisite oil and this is the Temanu oil blend 
It says it helps straight. It's a straightening, strengthening treatment. So I don't know. It's an oil. It looks like this. I've had it for a while, but I take like the smallest amount, like literally the smallest little, smallest little droplet ever. And I then I like kind of pat my hands on a towel, and then I'll just go over my ends. And I'll just pull it through because this will just make your hair super greasy if you put too much so I just like to do a little bit and then whatever's left after putting it on my ends I'll run it through the top of my hair and that is pretty much it.